Hey guys, this is Joy back again with another video and I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning into my channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. I wanted to say shout out to all of my subscribers. You guys don't understand how much this really does mean to me. I know some of the subscribers are from um, my Wake Up Now <laughs> family and it's uh, the company and business that I used to do. But the um, newest subscribers that have subscribed to me, the people that are supporting me with my Live Narc Free channel, um, dealing with narcissistic abuse, I just wanted to say, like, literally, it really does mean so much. Like, it just lets me know that I am doing the right thing, like, talking about narcissistic abuse and um, sharing my story. I feel like it's helping a lot of people, and that's really what I enjoy. That really gives me fulfillment. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for everything that you do um leaving comments questions getting the coaching sessions leaving donations like that really does mean a lot and please continue to do that <laughs> but um yeah you guys so today's video is going to be called why do i miss the narcissist so much and this is important because me personally i'm telling you like the last video i said the first narcissist i was so so in love with him like and he wasn't even all that cute like he was cute like he was tall dark like I love dark men <laughs> but um I don't know like at first I wasn't like really that attracted to him but over time I just became so attracted to him I, I think I felt like he was like really confident he was like really businessman bu business oriented he's an entrepreneur into music and um I just really liked him a lot and yeah, I thought I, there was a future, but unfortunately, I noticed that he was, um, like, demeaning me, um, like, making fun of me, um, and putting me down, and, like, making me feel bad, and I was like, that's not nice, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, that's not, in a relationship, like, you're supposed to make that person feel good, like, you're supposed to, like, make them feel secure, and make them feel safe, and make them feel, like, comfortable, you know, but I noticed that he wasn't doing that. And this is the first time I ever admitted this, but I don't know if this is like a narcissist thing, but um, the, let me see, I think it what I think it was the second date that we had, he made me pay for it. And I guess, I mean, it's not like a big deal, but I feel like the guys are supposed to pay for it. Even though the first date that we went on, he paid, which is cool. But when we went to the movies and he suggested it, he suggested us go out to the movies and he was like, oh, like, go ahead. He suggested that I pay for it. And I did. I didn't have a big deal because I'm like, whatever. I pay, He paid for the first, so I paid for the second one. But um, anyway, that probably wasn't a big deal. But um, And then the borderline that I dated, um, I missed him, but not as much because, like I said, I started to see. I was like, all right, he's something is up with him. And I think he even... I, um, I saw his Instagram and I was like watching one of his videos, his rap videos, and I think he admitted that he was schizophrenia. So you guys already know what that is. So um, he had some, I knew it, he had some sort of like, per, like personality disorder or some like mental health thing going on with him. So, um, but yeah, so I just wanted to talk about why is it that you miss the narcissist so much. So I have... Um, seven reasons and i'm just gonna go through them really quickly here um the first one is because you was in love with a lie you know and that's that can be tough to accept it's tough to hear and to take it in and um you know understand like hey like i was in love with somebody that wasn't who they say they was you know what i mean and um it's hurtful you know it's painful to realize that and um to move on from it and to like forgive yourself and it's it's tough but that's probably one of the reasons why you're missing the narcissist. Main, the, the main reason, really, you know. The second reason is that they didn't give you any closure or any explanation as to why they discarded you so quickly and abruptly, you know. And the, like I said, the first one, the first guy that I dealt with, like, I knew that he was, like, doing his thing or he may have had somebody. But he didn't tell me. And I didn't ask, so I guess I probably should have asked. But um, he would, like, future fake me talking about, oh, I'm somebody that he could see himself with in the future, that um, he wanted to be with somebody like myself, and, you know, giving me that false hope. And I was thinking that he we were going to be together, even though we dated, but it wasn't, like, a serious relationship. And he ended up going off to someone else, and there was really no closure. and still hasn't been any closure, but I had to give myself closure. But it's like, I was missing him, like, a lot. Like, for six months straight, I cried my eyes out with the first narcissist. And I, like, I really loved him. I really did. But, again, I loved a lie. I loved the person that he showed me in the beginning that was nice and charming and sweet and giving me gifts and cooking me food and stuff like that. You know, that's the person that I miss. Not the actual person that's um, 
you know, a manipulator, a liar, a cheater, a thief, you know, um, yeah, so that, that's not the person that I miss at all. So number three reason is the reason why we miss them is because they start dating someone new immediately. So you start, you think of them, you think about the good times, you think of like how they did that with you and you want that back again, you reminisce and, um, you think like, oh, wow, like I lost out because you see the narcissist posting pictures of him in the new supply going out on dates and vacations and restaurants and stuff like that, you know, and you think like, man, like I want that back. Like I miss that person. I want to contact them. And you don't want to do that. Trust me. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they do that specifically for you. Like they're showing off for you because they know that they didn't give you any closure. They know that you're hurting probably, you know, and they want to keep you hurting so they can come back and um, do whatever it is that they want to do with you. So don't get, um, don't fall into that trap. Um, the number reason number four is that you're feeling that, that you miss the narcissist is because you feel betrayed and you want answers and you want the narcissist to apologize, you know, and the other video I talked about how to get over that feeling of being betrayed because some, some people actually never get over it. I mean, they move on from it, they accept it, but they still feel that hurt, that pain, you know, and it, that's normal, but it's just like, you got to accept that that person just wasn't for you or they wasn't that into you and they can't be into you because they can't love and they, they don't have any empathy. They don't care about anybody, you know? So you just got to accept that, you know, and accept that you'll never get an apology, an apology that you really, truly deserve. And I never got an apology from um, the narc that I dated, even the borderline, you know, the narc, he was like, oh, um, did I kill your dreams or something like that? Once he started dating somebody else and I was like, no. And I was telling him like, oh, you know, I'm happy for you. Da, da, da. Even though I wasn't happy, but I was just like, I was hurt. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I felt like I didn't deserve that. You know what I mean? And, um, it's something that I'm still recovering from. I feel like, excuse me, I, like, I'm, he like, healed, but I, I still, like, remember, and I think, like, I didn't deserve that, you know what I mean? And I had to look at the reason why I stayed, and I had to look at the reason why I accepted it. And again, you know, in the past, I didn't love myself. I didn't accept myself. I didn't approve of myself. But now, it's like, that's different. Now, because I love myself, I accept myself, I approve of myself, and I put myself first when it comes to relationships. You know, I know what it is that I deserve, you know? So, yeah. Um, reason number five is that you're remembering the good times, like I mentioned before. And you're forgetting about the bad things that they did and said to you. And that that's reason number five is because you're experiencing cognitive dissonance in a sense, because what cognitive dissonance is, cognitive dissonance is basically when you're remembering um, something that a person did, you, you're thinking of a good memory, but then you remember also that they did something very terrible to you. You know, let, let's say like, um, and I always use this example, <laughs> You know, let's say the narcissist takes you out to dinner or something like that. You know, you're having a good time. And then out of nowhere, he's like, oh, are you wearing makeup? Well, you, well, you need to wear some makeup. Something like that, you know? <clears throat> something like, like, really? Like, you really say something like that to me? So, you know, so you remembering like, oh, yeah, they were sweet. They took me out. They paid for the food. But then they called me ugly. You know what I mean? So something like that. So you're... um going through that once that that's the reason why you're missing the narcissist you know and then another another reason why you might be missing the narcissist is because maybe you're forgetting that you deserve more um than someone who is abusing you you know you're probably forgetting yourself or if you're not knowing that um you know you deserve the best you know there is somebody out there that would love you for you you know you don't have to settle for less and um you know be with somebody that doesn't treat you right we all deserve to be treated right you know what i mean it's like Nobody deserves to be, you know, like talked down on and cheated on and lied to constantly. That, that's not right, you know. And number, the last one is that they made you dependent on them. And what I mean is like, I wrote down, <laughs> you guys know I like my notes, but um, they like made you seek their approval before you did anything. And so basically... When they left, you still feel connected to them because you're wanting their approval. And what I mean by that is, well, the first narcissist that I dated, he literally, I don't know, like, he just really, like, manipulated me really good. And, again, I didn't know what was happening because I was young, I was gullible, because he, 
even before I was thinking about love or even thinking of dating him, he was talking about love. Like, oh, have you ever been in love? And this and this and that. Whatever, whatever. So basically getting me ready for, you know, that whole love bombing and idol idolization phase. And then it eventually went to the discard. and the, I mean, the, the value and then the discard. So, but no, like, during a relationship, they are getting you ready to to be approved by them to get approval like if you want to do something like if you want to like go to a store and buy a certain item you would call them and ask them like hey should i do this is this okay like they'll get you to do something like that or i remember like at the time when i met my narcissist you know i wasn't trying to figure things out with my life and i remember asking him i was like hey um do you think it would be a good idea if i sell watches or do something like that i would call him and ask him if it was okay like that's how he got me so it was so crazy, like, how they get you, like, seeking their approval. And it's like, once they leave like that, you're still trying to seek their approval. Or you still want answers. You're still trying to figure out, like, man, like, you know, like, you're still connected to them. It's, like, really, really crazy. And, um, and again, if you're going through this, I have a lot of empathy for you. Um, but th these are some of the reasons why you may be missing the narcissist. And I just want to let you know that you're not missing really anything. You're missing the lie. <laughs> you're missing somebody that doesn't respect you. You're missing somebody that doesn't love you. You're missing somebody that doesn't care about you at all. Like, if they really cared about you, they wouldn't leave you. They would talk to you about it. They would, like, you know what I mean? Talk it out. You know, but this just shows you that they, they never loved you from the beginning. And so, yeah, thank you guys for watching my video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or any comments about narcissistic abuse, leave it in the comment box below and I'll make a video about it. And make sure you subscribe to my channel, give the videos a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video.